Today is fantastic because I'm packing my bags. I'm leaving tomorrow and I'll be in England for the next two weeks. Yay! I'm trying to decide which books I'm going to take with me. I'm definitely taking The Host, Pride and Prejudice, Aragon, and The Vangen in het Graan because they didn't have Catcher in the Rye in English at my library. But I also kind of want to take my Twilight books. I think I might need an extra bag. Everyone's been talking about their plans for August 2nd. My plans aren't really that exciting. I'll be in the car the entire day. Driving from Dover to Cornwall. It's going to be very exciting. In England they only get the book um, August 4th, so I'll have to wait an extra two days. Um, at least I can't get spoiled because I won't have any access to the internet, so that won't be a problem. I'm not sure if there are going to be any release parties, I don't think so, but I'll just probably take a couple of Team Twilight of Flies with me and try to put them in a bookstore that also sells Twilight. Viewers, if you want to spread the word and if you want to hand out some Team Twilighter flyers at your release party, please use the link that I put in the sidebar. This week we're of course talking about Breaking Dawn and I'm kind of going to challenge myself. I'm going to make 10 Breaking Dawn predictions and um, in the next couple of weeks we'll find out if I was right or not. I hope that at least like 4 or 5 of them are true. I have mixed some theories. Um, I've done a couple of things that I really want to happen and a couple of things that I think will happen. Here are my 10 Breaking Dawn predictions. Bella will love her after car. You know, she had a before car and the after car will be great. It will either be a very fast car that Edward buys for her and she will love it because when she's a vampire she will actually enjoy speed or Edward will fix up her old truck. Mike is the one who will actually crush the wedding, or at least he'll try to. Tanya will show up and she'll try to seduce Edward, but Rosalie will finally warm up to Bella and she will make sure that Tanya doesn't come anywhere near Edward. Bella will become a vampire somewhere between page 250 and 350. Jacob will show up during the wedding preparations and Edward will have to stop him. I talked about this a lot in my previous video, so if you want to know the full theory, you can check that out. Jane will personally come to Forks, just to stir things up a bit. I think she's a bit jealous of Bella. Charlie will get hurt, or he'll be threatened, either by the Volturi or by his own health. A minor human character will die, probably someone like Mike or Angela. The Volturi will discover the wolf pack, and the Cullens will have to pick a side. Jacob will imprint on someone, and he'll just try to ignore it. It will probably cause a lot of trouble. Two weeks ago, Chelsea challenged me to make a Twilight collage and then give it to someone. Well, I'm happy to announce that I finally finished the collage. And I used a lot of glue and double-sided tape. I mean, who doesn't love double-sided stickers? I really love these things. And here it is. I'll describe some things that are on this collage for you. But this is of course from the famous phrase Google it. This is the from the Dutch Twilight cover. It actually has uh, an apple with a heart shaped bite in it. I painted this on a newspaper. Then over here you have a picture that I found of a girl that I think looks a lot like Bella. And then you have the Volvo sign and, of course, Edward or our pets in the meadow. Then underneath that you have Jacob and Bella, a very beautiful drawing that I didn't make myself. This is Stephanie Meyer's autograph and I did do that myself. And then the bottom, there's this poem that I also found in a magazine. It's called The Moon and I put it in the video description of my last video. And over here I used um, 
It's like a rose pattern. So I hope that the person that I'm going to give it to likes it. And I haven't even revealed who I'm going to give it to. I'm going to give it to... Drum roll, please. Marion, also known as Marion Honey. Uh, you might not know her. If you don't know her yet, please, please check out her channel. I'll put the link in the sidebar. She's a great girl. She's a twi-tuber and she's John Green's fangirl. By the way, Marion, it might take me some weeks to send it to you. I'll be back in two weeks. Uh, then I'll send it to you and it might take an extra week to actually get to America. So, yeah, you'll get it in three weeks. And now it's challenge time. Challenge time! I really like the challenge that I've thought of this week. Um, if your parents already think you're kind of crazy for loving Twilight, this challenge is not going to help. Whoever I pick has to go to their parents or maybe a friend that hasn't read Twilight yet and make them read, apart from the meadow scene, uh, about 30 seconds, read it out loud and record it so we can all enjoy it. I have all these pieces of paper and the number of pieces that I pick up will determine the person that will get challenged. Okay, let's count. Six pieces and that is Sarah. Guys, your family really seems to love me because I've now been chosen by a mother, a grandmother and a sister. People, stop challenging Thursday. I'm too busy. No, just kidding. I want to be challenged. Next week, I'll have a special guest. And the week after that, I'll have a pre-recorded video because I won't have any internet access in England. Um, I'll see you again on Thursday in three weeks. Bye and... Have fun reading Breaking Dawn. Woo! Um, I'll show you... We're discussing... Uh, I can't get it off.